Welcome to the Collector's Review. In this episode, we're going to be unboxing the NECA Godzilla King of Monsters Godzilla action figure. So make sure you stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. Like I said, this episode we're getting to the NECA action figure of Godzilla, King of the Monsters action figure that they came out with. I've been holding on to this one for a little bit now, and I decided what the hell, while we're going through this little quarantine and everything, might as well unbox this bad boy right here and show you guys what it looks like up close and like always like share and subscribe you know the collector's review gives you everything from comic books action figure unboxings statue unboxings anything that has to do with collectibles so let's open the godzilla action figure so this one right here i'm a NECA fan and this will be the first godzilla action figure that i actually have ever opened so, I am doing other unboxings, like I have the, I just did a uh, episode of This Is Fake, which is a new segment that I'm starting with showing you guys the fake action figures that I get that I don't have the real for, just to show you how it came and the quality. Now, let's look at this bad boy and let me get this off real quick. All right, turn the lights off real quick so I can focus. So, here's the Godzilla NECA Gods of Monsters of the Monsters action figure. The, le uh, the leg, the tail popped off, not popped off, it comes separate in the package. And it was weird, uh, this is my first Godzilla action figure. So tell me if you guys had this like this. I had to pop this peg out. This peg was in like this and the end tail has a peg that's sticking out of it too so you can't go peg to peg <laughs> um <laughs> so i had to pop this one out and be able to hop pop the tail in but after i did that worked just fine now with this bad boy right here there's not many points of articulation head doesn't move that much which i feel it should move a little bit more but really doesn't so that's up down arms move around and they don't move out like that i think that's about as far as they move out right there arms in so that's as far as his elbow goes in and his hand is just turns like that and just a little up oh, there it goes there you got a limp wrist see asking you to kiss it all right, then the legs. Legs go all the way around. That's his splits. <laughs> Knees. Knees do not bend at all. All right, there we go. They bent a little bit. There, straight, bent. And then the feet. Figure's pretty dope, pretty nice size. I think from head to tail, it's supposed to be 12 inches. Not a huge uh, Godzilla fan. I like Godzilla, but I'm talking about on the point of that I opened a lot of his toys or any a lot of the Godzilla toys. This one, not a huge fan of, but I can see how people are, and there is a waist. Sorry, didn't see that one. I see how people are. It's been around a long, very long time. Tell me, guys, are you guys Godzilla fans out there? Have you guys opened the NECA Godzilla figure? And do you guys like them? Because, I don't know, it's pretty cool. But I prefer the other horror and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys over stuff like this. But it would be pretty cool to make a diorama for this bad boy right here maybe a little city that i could build a uh, little buildings and everything for him to destroy that was another episode of the collector's review where i unbox the godzilla king of monsters until next time keep your eyes open hit the subscribe button like share and i'm out peace